Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Google Maps for small business and how to rank number one in Google Maps within five minutes using Google Ads and the location extension. Now this is a paid search engine marketing strategy that's ideal for local businesses that want to quickly rank within Google Maps and this is essentially in order to drive physical traffic, website traffic, as well as online leads through bookings or phone calls through your Google My Business listing. Now, before we get started, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel, tap the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when we upload new and practical videos about how to help your local business succeed online. All right, with that being said, let's jump over to my computer. We'll dive into Google Ads and show you how to rank number one on Google Maps. All right, now before I show you how to rank number one on Google Maps using Google Ads and a location extension, you need to have a Google My Business account. You also need a Google Ads account and you need to link both your Google Ads and Google My Business accounts together. And this is what you need to do before you can get your business to show up on Google Maps through paid search engine marketing activities. So the first thing we want to do is create a label on your Google My Business listing that you want to show up on, on Google Maps. So pop over to your Google My Business dashboard and here you wanna pop down to information on your Google My Business dashboard and then what you wanna do is head over to advanced information and click on labels. Here you wanna edit this. So this is essentially your Google My Business listing that you want to show up on Google Maps. This just keeps it simple and easy to link so you don't get too confused if you have multiple listings. So I'm going to keep that as it is, Cindio uh, GMB and click apply once you've set a label. Then what you want to do is pop over to your Google Ads account. All right, so once you've arrived at your Google Ads dashboard, here you want to add your location extension. Now you might not have any ads running, you might not even be using Google Ads. So what you wanna do here is add your location extension and then when you activate a ad on Google Ads, your location extension is gonna show up with your Google Ads and this is what helps, um, well this is what's gonna show on Google Maps when you have the location extension activated. So we'll show you how to do that. So what you wanna do is you're on your dashboard, pop down to ads and extensions. Then you wanna move across to extensions, then click add extension. Now these are all the different extensions that you can add to your Google ads. So what we wanna do is add location extension. Now here you might not have any information because you haven't or you maybe just added your or created your Google Ads account. So what you wanna do is either find an account here. So what you can do is type in your domain, your website domain that you want to show up that's listed, that's linked to your Google Ads account. So for mine, for example, this is my website, cindio.co.nz. This is the website that is linked to my Google My Business account, to my Google Map listing. And then, so once that's popped in, it's gonna come up with options down here. Now I wanna select this one because this is the listing that I want to provide. So what I can do is click select. Now if, you, if nothing shows up here, you can go link to account. Now here, if you're already associated with the email that has been used to uh, create the Google My Business listing or you have the email that's linked to the Google My Business listing, what you wanna do is click it here. If you do not, then what you wanna do is request access to the Google My Business account. So if you know the email address which is linked to the Google My Business listing that you wanna use, then type that here and then all you need to do is continue and you will get sent the email that's going to essentially allow you to become the admin and manage this account. So again, I'm just gonna go find an account. Yep, that looks good for me. I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna go preview. And this is how it's gonna look. So with your Google ad 
on the search network, what basically is going to happen is you're going to have your ad, your text, um, obviously your domain here, and then below that is where you're going to see your extension. So this is a location extension. Again, they can click call now, um, but this is the extension. What's going to happen also is it's going to show up on Google Maps. And that's going to be powerful because you're going to be the first listing on Google Maps when people scroll down and they can click on your ad, they can click on directions, they can call your business or they can click through to your website. So that's why location extension is so important. So what you want to do once you've created that and you're happy, you've either linked to your account or you've found that account, you can go continue. And then what will happen is you will see the location pop up here once the admin has accepted your request. So they'll receive an email and they just need to accept that request for you to manage the listing. So this is the email that they'll receive because I received the email because I'm linking with my own account. This is the email. All they need to do is click here to reject or approve your request and what that's going to do is take them to their Google My Business listing which looks like this. Now another way to find uh, this location on your Google My Business if for example you're linking to your own account is you just head back over to your listing so we'll go Google My Business. So what you would do is you'd head to your dashboard like this and then you'd come down to linked accounts then here all you need to do is approve or decline. So again for me to see the uh, location extension for this Google My Business listing I need to approve this. Approve. That will take a moment. And then what you want to do is head back over to your Google Ads account. And there you have it when you refresh your Google Ads page you'll see that the location has been approved. You now have the location extension for this location. Cindio, yep, that's correct. The address is correct. And that's the label we put in the Google My Business dashboard earlier, just to identify that we have the right Google My Business listing uh, connected to your Google Ads account. So we'll cancel out of that. And there you have it. And that's really all there is to it. However, if you want this to show, um, what you want to do is add this to. So you got the location connected, you want to add the location to either your account, campaign or ad group. So if you've only got uh, a couple of campaigns running or ad groups, um, but you want your location extension to be connected to all of them, then go account. If you just want it connected to one campaign type or one ad group, then click that. So you can filter the options in terms of where uh, you want your Google Ads location extension to show and that's essentially it all you need to do is either create an ad now which is quite easy you can just head back to your dashboard and head over to campaigns and here all you need to do is create a new campaign and once you've created that again there's more information in this we're just talking about extensions here but once you've created your extension sorry once you've created your ad then you can add your extensions to your campaign and that's what's going to help show your Google My Business listing at the top of maps. But remember every time someone clicks on your ad extension you get charged and again this base this is based on how much uh, the cost per click is per keyword um, for your ads and again yeah, there's a lot of different factors involved but essentially that's how you do it if you're unsure um, how to get that Google My Business listing uh, at the top of Google Maps through paid activities and you can do this within five minutes. It's quite straightforward when you get the hang of launching your own ads. And there you have it guys, you now know how to rank number one in Google Maps within five minutes using Google Ads location extension. Now if you got value out of this video, you found it helpful, make sure you leave a comment down below, I truly appreciate that. And if you like, feel free to subscribe to this channel, tap the bell icon, and that way you'll be notified when we upload a new video next week. Alright, with that being said guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.